and his opponent, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 247 pounds, Eric. It's time to raid and get paid. Eric was a top competitor in Japan before arriving in WWE, where he previously had battles against Ivar. Ah! Now, Eric, also a true Rocky miracle. This is a man who got into a motorcycle accident in 2014 and was told he shouldn't have ever survived. The unforgiving structure is down in the bell's run. Unforgiving and at times not right on us. could get wild. He had it scouted. Back in the ring now. Draped across the top rope. Climbing four. This match grinded him down a little. No one is fully prepared for Hell in a Cell. He better brace for more. Answering back. Undertaker is just doing whatever he wants now. A oh, kendo stick wrapped around the head. Not even the most unstable of WWE superstars would say they enjoy being inside Hell in a Cell. But when you're inside of it, you still have to carry yourself as if you belong there. Not like you want to escape it. That will truly intimidate your competition and make it clear they're locked in there with you. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Eric's able to dodge that. Oh, that's even a car. Delivers the leg drop.
Sheamus to the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. He returns to the ring. Inside the cell. Oh, jarring uppercut. Undertaker unleashing such devastation. Taker is digging another hole. And this match will head back to the ring. In the look of this. Gravy clearly holding nothing back. Using that well placed table. Hopped up. No way. Yes way. What power. Stone pile driver. What devastation from the Undertaker. 